<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Barely Legal Podcast, where if you're here, either we forced you to, or this wasn't the Barely Legal you were looking for, you saucy pervert. I'm Alfie, and today I'm joined by... Adam, it's us, we're back. <laughs> oh, woo, yay. Um, <laughs> yay. Lovely. Epic. Before we start, I on. I thought it was worth mentioning that we actually live up to the Barely Legal podcast name now, because we're, we're as of all... in our on our last episode, it was in June, which was six months ago, uh, and me and Sam were still fifteen, so it was just straight out illegal. But now uh, we're all we're all Barely Legal hey. for real. Wow. Well, now. 17. Yeah, I'm 17. Yeah. That's crazy. We're not barely legal, yeah. Yeah, well, we, well we're, yeah, we aren't barely legal anymore. We're like, oh, we're okay. Legal. We're, we're half and half. The podcast is it. Yeah. It's, it's all we're, we're it's going dying to out. You off the podcast, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or we could change it to welcome to the 50% legal, <laughs> 50% barely legal podcast. Anyway, you may all be wondering what the hell. This is a blast of the past. Did this really happen in 2020? Uh, and yes, it did. We're back for the 2020 retrospective. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. I forgot. We're... I forgot all the the trials of even setting it up, like what order we're going to go in and remembering the intro. But you know what? We're here now, and that's all that matters. That's um, right. So, so let's just let's just I don't know. Take a take it back a bit. To January. Does anyone actually remember January? No. Wasn't, <laughs> oh wait, wasn't that with the whole missile strike? That seems. Oh, like of course, ago. World War Three. Oh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't three. just. It wasn't just World War Three because remember Australia was on fire as well. Oh yeah. And that was oh. literally on like day one of 2020. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about that. I remember everyone was like, "Oh wow, I'm so scared. There's going to be World War Three, but. Nothing happened. Did they know? <laughs> Did they know? <laughs> oh, God, I remember doing like a really shitty drama performance about World War Three and the Australian fires. That seems oh, like years wow. ago. Yeah, but here's the, here's the thing. Like, I remember. I still. The weirdest thing is like I remember January, but I don't remember anything else until today. Um, so like I remember. <laughs> well, obviously not. I'm. I'm <laughs> bored, but like I was. I remember the the memes from then. Like. All the Fortnite kids getting drafted to play or to fight in World War Three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> jumped on the battle that. bus. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it was just, oh yeah, and it's the same with like, well, just in general, like, any everything before like March or even April when COVID started to realize how bad it was getting. I remember talking to my teachers because I was like. Oh, is school going to close down? And they were like, no, of course it won't. Literally, It'll be I re- fine. I remember like a few days before they announced the school was closing, I was in the history revision session and I was like, nah, it's not going to happen. They wouldn't do that. It's not that. Like, And then, yeah, like three days later. So many teachers genuinely believe that we'd be going back. I don't, I don't know if you remember, Noel, um, but we literally did a biology test in our last biology lesson. I remember that. Oh, that is rough. That was pretty, well, that was yeah. pretty rough. We, we had it, but our teachers were like, they're probably going to use your predicted grades here. So what we're going to do is you're going to do this at test, and we're going to basically use this to determine your exam, or to determine your final grade. So you better do well on it. And the I best remember. was the best was computer science, where they didn't make us do it in lesson. They made us do it during the summer. So we were <laughs> and the teacher the teacher was like she was just like hey hey kids do not use the internet wink wink, um, <laughs> uh, and on. it did determine my final grade. And that is how if anybody's oh, Sam's connecting Hi, Sam. just disappeared. <laughs> oh well, uh, <laughs> I was just going to say and if anyone's wondering how I got a level eight um, after I had the last test I did, I got a level four. That's how. But what I find, I remember with um, English, our teacher yeah, yeah, was yeah. originally going to give us like a test thing. And then we all were just like, nah, miss, can we just do Scrabble? <laughs> yeah. oh, like, I, nah, fuck it. I discovered that I still, um, I still have the sheet of paper of the Scrabble game that we had. I absolutely destroyed everyone. 
my yeah it's it's it, to be honest it's it's insane looking back at how naive we all were yeah i Definitely. remember did, wasn't it originally like we we're only going to be off school for like two weeks was that i don't remember yeah. that well, sort of, sort of, yeah i think it sort of was like a few weeks and then it realized that it was cutting into summer and they were like oh we'll give you the summer off yeah um and then they were like oh and by the way your gcses yeah they didn't they didn't exist anymore actually speaking of which how how was everyone's experience with getting their results that was actually a really wonderful day like the, the grades yeah the, my grades were pretty good i was happy with them but it was like mm-hmm. the first time we'd i'd like obviously went to school and actually saw every, pretty much everyone that was really nice. Then you went we definitely weren't following restrictions oh, really, definitely not. with social distancing. <laughs> but it, it was nice. We got to have a chat with everyone. It was a great day. And then I went to Nathan's house and played Fall Guys. Our school didn't offer it, which was a tragedy because our English teacher said that if we got predicted or above, um, she'd give us like a Krispy Kreme donut on results day um, and ultimately got scammed out of that. Still brought it up to her after after lockdown, and she still never gave me that goddamn donut. One of my teachers offered right, me, right, right. promised me a biscuit for helping her carry some stuff, and that was in year nine. And I still remember that she didn't give it to me. See, what I say we should do is we should dox them. Yeah, yes. I'll leave out their address. <laughs> You'll regret not giving me that biscuit, you. Or that Krispy Kreme donut, you yes. bastard. I said you'd regret this one day. <laughs> Today is the day they would regret it. Uh, oh well. Um, I, mean, on, um, I remember on results day, um, my picture was taken with the deputy head and another student, and uh, the picture is iconic because I'm doing this really weird hand gesture. <laughs> it looks like I'm trying to like, jerk off or something. <laughs> I think I remember that photo. Was yeah. it on their t- Twitter? It was page? on their Twitter as well. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That was a real t- tragedy for me because, like, it- it's so weird. Just, like, for anyone's context here, I moved school in year nine. Um, and, like, seeing all these people that I used to know and what they look like now, it's like, Jesus Christ, some people have had a glow up. Um, like... <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is really weird. And going, is that really who I think it is? The worst is not even remembering people that I was kind of close to. Like I just didn't remember their names. So I was like, Ooh, ah, that yes, is that, rough. especially like this Alfie guy. Uh, I mean, I only <laughs> understood afterwards, but yeah. 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 Who is it? Who is he? It's always the worst whenever I do head um, back to see my dad, and and whenever I did go to like the the city center, and it like I'd see people, and they'd walk by me. I would, I would basically, I just basically hide in the hope that they would never interact with me. You are immortalized in our school, though, because there's still, still oh, sheets name. of paper yeah. on the wall for like Let's best, go. best effort in Lo- RE or something. Yeah, Adam Lawless, year eight. Year eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I've basically been immortalized in my current school, so it seems to be a common trend wherever I oh, go. Wow. You're just a myth at this point, a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually real. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I w- the, 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 another element of, of school that I, I never really got my head around um, in like that closing area is that on the day they announced they were like the school was closing, they packed us really tight in the canteen. So we were all sitting next to each other really, really close just for them to go, yeah, so you know that pandemic thing that's going on? It's getting so bad that we're going to have to close the schools. Um, and to this day, they still can't social distance within a school. Nice. They pretty much did the same with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's just honestly, like they'll t- keep telling us, okay, you've got to social distance, got to social distance, and then you'll have... They like, just put us in the assembly th- hall. Yeah, you have like assembly hall or groups of 30 or some shit you see around the school. <laughs> Oh, great job. Uh, I mean, that that's the real thing about it. Has that been, like, has been missing school or for that long period of time when we missed school? Was that a good experience? Did you, were you okay with the lockdown when, like, the, the summer lockdown, I guess? Well, um, yeah. uh, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I found it, I actually quite enjoyed it, to be honest. <laughs> that's fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> it had its ups and downs. 
But... Yeah, I'd say like the worst bit was would have been like April, May when like no one was allowed out. Then as mm. soon as people were allowed out, like in the actual summer when it was like roasting, yeah, like, that's when it was enjoyable. Like people would be down the river. Yeah, I remember it was August town. when like things were most relaxed, and I actually got out quite a bit and um, mm. saw some people. And that was fun, but yeah, like towards the beginning, it I'm ah, yeah. No, I, I get. What I you hate. Mean. I hated the uncertainty of everything, like like whether exams were cancelled or whether mm. you know like what was actually going on. I just yeah. didn't like how repetitive the first few months were of your day because you, yeah. you couldn't do anything, especially we, like we didn't have any work either, so we couldn't do anything productive really. And we're not always, we're not we're not we're not all motivated enough to do something all the time, um, yeah. which we really could have, but. So it was just that I mean, monotonous um, routine, cycle. and it was just yeah, yeah, it was horrible. I mean, this like <laughs> I mean, we had this though for like the start of lockdown. Yeah, exactly. All right. Was, that <laughs> yeah, was what, time. what happened to that, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it did. Cut. No, to be fair, to be fair, no, there's been so much good that has developed out of it. Like into like I have so many boring things that are actually like help me in a career in the future that I've done. So that kind that kind of stuff has been really useful. Um, but like one of the biggest things that i found is like the resurgence like before lockdown minecraft was sort of resurging as a thing on youtube and in general popularity but since it's just exploded in popularity as well and i've just found that as a really enjoyable experience as well i agree it has been fun for it to be socially acceptable to play minecraft again yeah i remember back in the day when like an insult would be hey you play minecraft yeah i remember having like I used to play Minecraft still all the time, and it, I felt like I was an underground. Um, I had to keep it a secret because, like, if anyone found out that I was still playing that much, it would be it would be the end. Yeah, and now we have YouTubers our age with millions of subscribers, and it's oh like, my god, what's his name? Tommy in it. Tommy in it. Tommy in it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got. I can't believe it. He's either. got stacks. He's, he would be loaded. He is, I think he's like, he was one of the most, or maybe he still is the most watched Twitch streamer. And it's oh like... My. He's younger than us. He no, is, yeah. He's, he's six, the same he's age as us. Yeah. yeah, but he's younger than me and you, Adam. And I was like, oh, no, yeah, that's is. horrible. Or, um, what's his name? Tubbo as well. Um, he's another British YouTuber who's younger than us. Like, Wait, how old's he? I think he's, I think he's the same age as Tommy in it, but like... Oh my god! I don't know any of these new people. Oh god, I'm starting to feel a bit old at this point. Yeah, he got he. Oh, this is the thing though. It's like, um, I like I. I was thinking back to like the peak of Minecraft YouTube was like 2013, um, but oh. now, and you'd still and you'd have like role play series then, but now you have role play series in Minecraft now, um, and it's just insane to think that it's carried on to this extent, yeah. and mainly because of lockdown. Like, like, is it, it's isn't, nice. it the, isn't it the Dream SNP or something? The Dream SNP, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know, I don't watch it. But oh, Alfie, I've... you're missing out. <laughs> I don't watch it either. I didn't even know I it was don't. a roleplay thing until like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I thought it was just like a multiplayer server. No, it's got, it's got everyone on it. It's got Vicstar. Vicstar's on it. Oh, so... Vikram Barn. I remember the Earth SNP, and I followed that for a time because I... I thought it was so cool how they were actually, they were doing it all in Minecraft with the like one to one world. Um, well, that oh my god, that it just doesn't feel like that was this year. I feel like that's <laughs> a lot of things when you mention it and be like, oh no, that that was this year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know it, it went on for ages lockdown, but when I think of it now, it went it just went by in a in, a, in an instant, like a blink of an oh, eye. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. And like when I was thinking like what GCSEs meant. Um, and how impactful they were. Just to think that that time frame disappeared. It just, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I re yeah. Overall, I'd say lockdown was, it wasn't like all good or all bad. I, I was probably lucky with it personally because, you know, a lot of people were really, really going through it um, during lockdown. Mm. Yeah, I had my times where I remember it 
being left to overthink all the time and I just went into like cycles of self deprivation and hating, but no. Um, I think on the whole, it, it, yeah, it's just good and bad things. Was there like any new games or hobbies that we all developed over lockdown? Uh, drawing, like art, that's what I, I got into. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Uh, at, at first, it started with just um, drawing like clone troopers from yeah, Star Wars. And I remember seeing your clones, they were amazing. Yeah, all like the different, I had to customize like, my own armor. So, like different patterns yeah. on them and then it turned more into drawing like characters so like my most recent one i did was like a damaged spider-man nice yeah um mm. as for games i just got heavily into the mass effect series and the last of us which i played for the first time ah right okay well <laughs> Speaking of, of game ex- actually, I, I've played so many games over lockdown because <laughs> I am a big old gamer. Um, but I recently, um, for my sins, got Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, no, um, you poor soul. <laughs> no, you say that. Okay, here's the thing. I have, for context, I have a gaming laptop that is quite old now. It's about three years old. And the game just cannot run on it. Like... Like when I like even on the lowest settings, it still drops to like fifteen FPS um, every now and then. But I've still found it the most fun. It's one of the most funnest games I've played in so long because I haven't done a single story mission outside of the tutorial stuff. I played it for like six hours and I haven't done a single story mission because all I do is I'm a guy who wears who has a katana and goes around chopping gangsters' heads off. And I've been doing that for six hours. The same thing again and again for six hours. And it's still the funnest thing. Because I'll be like running up to a guy who's shooting at me or whatever. And he'll go with my katana. And he'll go, when's this guy going to run out of ammo? And then I'll hit him with my katana. And I'll laugh. So I'm like, what an idiot. He, I don't have a gun, you silly man. Um, and it's a bunch of stuff like that where I just feel like um, it's very repetitive, but it won't be when I actually get into the story. Like I'm sure there's other stuff, but I also like reading about the world. Um, and some of the glitches are hilarious. <laughs> like I had one example where the same fat guy who wears this golden shirt appeared. Um, like he, like, in a street of ten people, he'd be like seven of the models. Um, <laughs> so I would, I would recognize him, turn around, and there'd be another model of him. So that kind of thing um, it makes the game really hilarious because of how bad it is. Um, but yeah, that that's been really fun. Um, yeah, that's fair enough. I always well, loved you know, the, the bugs on Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls. That game. Was was, any, yeah, like any Bethesda game is the best <laughs> for it. <laughs> oh my god, that just reminds me like Fallout Four and all Wait, like the character wasn't... models where wasn't what? Sorry. No, what are you gonna say? Wasn't four? Wasn't the whole? Wait, no, no, no. I think it was. Wasn't the whole, I was going to say, wasn't the whole Fallout 76 scandal? Was that this year? Or was that yeah, just that last year? No, I think that was last was, year. Uh, was it? I think that was last year, but they added, like, I think, have they, like, redone it? So, like, they've actually added NPCs and... Yeah, 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 yeah that kind of stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, because there have been a lot of comebacks Sky. like that. Yeah, exactly. No, oh, yeah, oh, my, okay, yeah, that's a game. Yeah. No Man's Sky. I really got onto that oh. this year. Um, oh, just I, before that, I... I'll let you for a second. I just want to say that Fallout 76 came out in 2018. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> I was thinking it was like November last year. Oh my fucking yeah, God. Exactly. Anyway, no, I'll let you. I'll let you. Okay. Continue. Yeah. No Man's Sky. I got it in like 2018 and I only played it like on and off really. But it's had a lot of updates this year that have just made it so beautiful. Like I could just roam the planets and space forever take like taking screenshots and just admiring it it is yeah it's a wonderful game it's on your twitter i really it, appreciate it a lot <laughs> yeah um yeah it's a true it is a beautiful game um so what do you what are you doing is it just you traveling and that, colonizing or something that is one of the main things about it there's not like a significant cycle like gameplay loop to follow after a while because it's it more a, like a spectacle in a way yeah there is a main story which takes quite a while um and there is a lot to do there are lots of loads like an abundance of side quests and customizations but 
basically as soon as you have a load of money there's not much to do but yeah great game a lot of very exploration centered that's yeah, nice great. you can just roam and you don't really need a purpose you just enjoy it I guess that game is going to be kind of like what Cyberpunk 2077 is because it was so overhyped. Mm. Like I'm playing it now and I've played some amazing games um, before in my time, especially RPGs like Fallout um, uh, New Vegas. That is an amazing game. One of the best games I've ever played. But like it's nothing compared to that. But I bet over time as it gets updates and that kind of thing, it will yeah. continually be considered better and better. But, yeah, because... Um, EA's Battlefront 2, how that constantly got exactly. updated. Yeah, yeah. Not worth the bloody £50 I spent, though, and I tried to refund it on Steam only to realise I played, like, four hours on it. I was like, no! I mean, uh, and, then I, and then I started playing it more, and I've been enjoying it, but still. Yeah, that's another game I got into this year. And I, I love that game. I almost exclusively play Clone Wars. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, wow, what a great game. There's Are you Sam game. You've been playing? Yeah, I was just I was just gonna say I was waiting for a moment when everyone stopped. Um, there was one game that I I got it, and I'm pretty sure in the first two weeks I got about a hundred hours on Steam on it, which wow. is um <laughs> it, it honestly scared me a little bit. But it, have, have you ever heard of a game called Kenshi? Oh, Kenshi! Yes. Oh um, my God. Yes. No. All right. I'll let you take uh, this away. I'll Google yeah. it. It's it's like it's a post post apocalyptic squad building survival um, management sort of game, and I just I can't I can't give it enough praise. And I say I've spent all these hours on it, but I haven't even got to like half of the content. There's so much you you can do anything. It is one of those games where you, there is so much. I just want to say my playtime on it is ninety six point nine hours. So, wow. so I think yeah. I'll, I'll I'll try and describe it as well. So yeah, so basically, um, you, I'll describe my first game I ever played kind of briefly. But basically, um, you start as a as a guy who's only wearing some like cloth trousers and you have like a stick for a weapon, um, and you're in this destroy town. Um, and you're told absolutely nothing. Um, you're just plopped in this place and you need to try and find a place for yourself in the world. Um, so basically what you do is that you go mining and you'll try and get, you know, salvage some money out of that. Um, and once you've done mining, then you can go and recruit other people and then you can increase the amount that people are mining. Um, but along that as well, you're trying to have to defend yourself because random bandits are like roaming from um, nearby towns or whatever. Um, and like it's just the sheer like that starting bit of what I just mentioned took like two hours to get down to, um, and yeah, it's just the entire like expanse of the game because whenever I've played it in a full um, playthrough, um, it's lasted about I don't know fifty hours. I've only covered like a fifth of the map, and it's just insane to think that so much has been pushed into this one little game. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, that actually that's a fair I was just to be honest, I was gonna mention that, but then I was like, oh that's a bit difficult to describe. Is um, it like um wait, is it like a is it uh I'm gonna describe it like a third person type thing or is it like um kind of like a Star Wars the old republic where you command So you, like you command so okay, so here's the thing. So you start with one Person. Well, it depends what type like setup you start with because there are different ones. So, for example, you could choose one where you start off as a slave, or one where you start off as a dude and his dog, or one where there's five of you or whatever. Um, yeah. But basically, you it's it's third. It, you you take like um, I don't know how to really describe it. So there's like a free view camera um, where you can go across um, and you control the units in t in terms of like a drag and click kind of way. Oh, so yeah. like it's like um, an RTS, so real-time strategy type thing of yeah, moving yeah. units around and that kind of thing. Um, but the best part about it is that you can have like, I think it's like 80 people is the maximum amount. Um, so you can micromanage every single one of them. Um, and you can get to the point where you can build up. So like, it'll take you a while, but you can make your own settlements um, as well. 
uh, and basically make your own nation inside of this already established one where you're trying to deal with different fighting factions and like sometime when you'll be roaming um, like a battleground um, between these two different nations you'll just see massive like massive armies of like 40 people clashing against each other and you just watch from afar and then go in at the very end to loot them all uh, and steal all their really expensive items but yeah I, it, it's really difficult as a game to describe um but it is incredible that does sound really amazing <laughs> I, it does sound good, but I don't think I have the attention span for that. <laughs> yeah, it no, is. It is quite. Intensive. I yeah. I tried to play a game of Stellaris with one of my friends. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not like we couldn't. We just kind of never came back to it because each session was like five hours long. And we didn't even get to going to war. It was insane. I love Stellaris as well, or like Hearts of Iron Four or E. I always wanted to play Hearts of Iron Four. That's still one of the games I have to play at some point. I'd um, have to commit to it and actually get good because it looks yeah. bloody difficult. Have you got any hobbies over well besides video games? But like, have you developed any hobbies, any interest, new interests that you hadn't before? Um, this is more recently, but I've really been getting back into chess. It's not oh. because of the Queen's Gambit, okay? Um, I chose it to do my like dv skill section with but like so i've been learning how to play it like, properly and it's uh, i'm really having fun with that do love me some chess i'm not i'm really not that amazing at the moment but uh yeah yeah, well, I, I, I played with nathan when it um you know, we had the freeze in college Oh yeah, yeah. Because I, because I do have to do it on the website because I have no idea how to play chess. I don't know what pieces move where, so I have to have I'm a little scrap. bit of help. But he just whoops my ass. <laughs> oh, I remember my playing four-player chess with him, Will, and a random. That was pretty horrible. Yeah, well, like the different game modes. I did beat oh. Will in one of our frees, though. Proud of that. Fuck you, Will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Fuck you, Will. I'll say it as well. <laughs> I like, um, oh, I think it's called Really Bad Chess or something like that, where you just, it randomizes the pieces that everyone has. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. um, Will, yeah. Will, Will showed me some different variants, like Atomic Chess, where... Oh, Atomic Chess. Yeah, is every it? time you take a piece, it gets it explodes and kills all the ones around it. Yeah, that's great. that one where it's like, it's like dimensions and time travel. I, yes. I've heard of it, yes. but I've deliberately avoided it. Oh, I, I like the one where you have to try and get all your pieces taken away, and if the other person can take your piece away, they have to. I've got what it's called. Oh. Oh, I love saying that's the only one I can actually win at. Good I, just man, the board. Gone away. Oh, I remember. Um, it's okay. I would admit him back. Uh, uh, there's one mode I haven't tried it, but I. It said that you can even just take your own pieces as well if you want, which I just found so funny. Yeah, that's what everyone wants to hear us talk about chess. Um, it's like, yeah, it's genuinely quite better, interesting. No. Wasn't it no, like no, a I huge it, thing it. on Twitch? Yeah, it, it yes. has really oh exploded God. on Twitch. Was that before, before Minecraft was the thing? I think it was... Was it before or after Among Us? Oh, way before. It, it was yeah. pretty early on. I think that's another thing as well. Games that we thought, oh yeah, this will stick around and then died. Like Fall Guys is the best <laughs> example oh, of it. Fall Guys <laughs> died. Oh, Fall guys. It's, it's like the first season and then it's dead. Like, I, like Among Us is still kind of going, but like, yeah, Fall Guys. The issue is with both of the rough. games is that they're taking forever to release new content. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's why Fall, uh, Fall Guys went, because Series 2 took ages to come out. By the time it came out, Among Us was popular again. Well, well, well technically, yes, popular. Yeah, and even even though Among Us is... I, I, like, I hate Among Us. I've had it one <laughs> really? of the most boring games ever. Yeah, I prefer something like Town of Salem as like a deduction game. Um, or just other types. It just is far too repetitive where you're doing the same thing over and over again for me. I think it's only good when you're playing with people who don't mind just pissing about. 
So mm. people like people who took it seriously. Like the one thing. No, yeah, but that's also it, funny. Yeah, but it's like oh, it's so it annoyed me so much with um our friend Will. He knows exactly if you're imposter or not by I forgot the map Polis or something, where with the keys. Oh yeah, yeah. You're, oh, yeah that, that was kind which, of annoying. Yeah, which slot do you put your keys in? And if you're like, if you say one, he'll be like, okay, well, you're an imposter. And then he'll get it right because he knows which order it all. It's like, just fuck off and have some fun, mate. <laughs> Wait, we're some... just bullying Will. Sorry, Will. I love you, Will. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not, I've had, yeah, Among Us is, was quite fun. I've had plenty of good times on there. Yeah, but I think if you play it with the same people over and over again, like we. Yeah, there's only so much you can play it. Because I played public. Among Us. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the best definition thing. of cancer. <laughs> you're just like, even if you, even if you don't think somebody is an imposter, you'll just say, "I saw X event," and then everyone will. <laughs> everyone just believes you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like the the best way to do it, which I found, is say, "Oh, I saw them vent, or I saw them kill at the very bottom of my screen." If you give that little bit of detail, mm-hmm. everyone's like, "Yep, yep," and then the person just like. Uh, no, I didn't. It's like, you're just an idiot. <laughs> Try and defend yourself. Yeah, exactly. And or, or they just take too long to respond. It takes them like a good 10 seconds between it and by then oh, everyone's already voted. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I feel so sad when they go like, please don't vote me. And it's like, <laughs> everyone's voted. You're like, oh, you've lost it, brother. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm truly sorry. And then they won't be the imposter, and then you'll do it again. You'll just say it was that, like a different person you saw them bent, and everyone's like, "Yeah, sure, this all, this seems fine." Yeah, short term memory. Yeah, exactly. Uh, how do you think Boris Johnson would do in a game of Among Us? He would I have absolutely no clue. I don't think he would do that good because if someone asks him a question, he will just go, "Oh, oh, oh, yeah." Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And for that, wow, he's stuttering, so... That's exactly the response I was hoping for of asking that question. Good job, Al. <laughs> You're um, welcome. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. I'm trying to think... I'm trying to, like, rack down the trends that appeared this year. Yeah. Um, oh, we had the Tiger King, of course, but we've already did an episode about that. We've already oh, did an yeah. episode. Go check that go, out. Go watch it. <laughs> yeah. Go watch vlog. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I haven't actually rewatched. Any of the, any of our episodes for a while. I have. I watched the <laughs> I um, wedding. I no. Okay, like the wedding ring man one, one is genuinely like the only good one in my opinion. Yeah, I I kind of <laughs> don't want to watch them again now because I never want to listen to them. They're a little like... bit. They're a little bit cringe. <laughs> they are just a tiny bit. Just a tiny think, bit. Once we finish with this one, we're gonna be like, oh, that was a bit cringe as well. We can never watch the like. Uh, this, this, one, this one's been really good so far. Got to private them all. Um, I might. Because... <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, actually, do that because then people, like, in the future, if they ever find this video, oh like, my god, what was the barely leak? like? There were episodes before this. We can create a whole mythology around the barely leak podcast. Yeah. I'm yeah, still, like so oh, amazed. Like, one of our, which one is? It? I think it's the isn't it a hypothetical questions one that got like yeah. six, seven hundred views. What was it called? Popped off. We kill our yeah. wife's boyfriends. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I think it's the title that did it. That was such a good yeah. episode because that was when like the whole simp thing was really, like, oh, really in the hint yeah. heat of simps and incels. Uh, but yeah, it's not only just that, but like, I'm sure if we actually looked at the analytics of like the watch time, it would be I'll like ten, a look seconds. Right now. Oh, ten seconds. But, but, I'll, I'll take a look right now. <laughs> no, don't destroy us. <laughs> Let us have this moment of happiness. Like, but the best, but like, it cor- like correlated with like that was the best comedy we ever made because every single reference we made through that episode came round at the end. It's currently um, at six hundred and sixteen views. Th- that's pretty Gee. good. That's Gee, pretty okay. good. Let's take so, a look at the like, analytics. Imagine if you're like a comedian and you need to sell out a room of 600 people. That's a lot. That is, yeah. Especially if they're hearing us. Like, I'm sure they did literally only listen to us for 10 seconds. But um, oh, yeah, the watch time in total isn't great. <laughs> oh, no. What is it's it? A thousand and 163 minutes, which is pretty good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Considering that 600 views. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say a thousand minutes? Yeah. 
Oh wait, sorry, I was thinking like it meant for like the average time. Oh that no, that's so that means total. at least that means at least a f- actually to be honest that is pretty decent. Like that actually, means yeah, at least a yeah, few yeah, people. Yeah, it is. Like I bet that's I'm a hundred percent confident that that is better than every single other episode. Probably. But the thumbnail and um, yeah. title really did help, I imagine. Do you reckon it was a great episode? Should we cut this one as well? Do you reckon? Uh, how I mean, would I don't think actually I don't think there is a way to clickbait it. It's I remember we tried to um, I tried to clickbait episode nine, which is where we had the guest cameo, which was actually just Adam's brother. <laughs> <laughs> they came in for like five seconds. <laughs> it really didn't work. It only got yeah, but like the views. difference the difference there though is that like we kill our wives boyfriends is like a funny title, whereas yeah. cameo I guess isn't the, the best thing. Um, but yeah, they they are a little bit cringe. If I, I yeah. I'm scared of wanting to to look at them, and I'm Just, glad like none of our names like our names are attached to this. But like in terms of somebody being able to find it, it would be impossible. Yeah, unless like, you look re- like if you know Noel is Dirty Frog Fifty One. Yeah, you're not like, gonna find it. Luckily, like Dirty Frog has like sexual connotations to it, so <laughs> we have like the, so we're gonna have to like completely ruin their search history to find this which i think is True. good actually like dirty frog 51 barely legal and it's like wow okay so you know oh yeah. yeah hang okay that's another weird thing um the i would i used to look at the analytics quite a lot and i oh, discovered why? that the i hang on i think it was like the most common search terms that led to people finding out videos they were not oh, good they were not good. <laughs> let me. Told them before. Yeah. You, let me take. Let like, me. Yeah. Let me take a look. Go for the, like. Go for the. Um, we killed our wise boyfriend one because I think that will have right. like the most. Yeah, okay, I think. Yeah, I think you sent a screenshot to the group chat. Like, I, yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure. Um. We need to riff while Noel searching. Oh well, for for that one, it only gives me one. But three point nine percent of search terms that led to our video were barely legal movie. <laughs> so people are, like our our intro actually applies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like actually, that would be so weird. Imagine if you are one of those people and you do click on this and you hear them hear us say that. What do you think? Yeah, like, I bet they actually must have shit themselves. Wait, gonna... Go away, I'm keto. Yeah. Actually, no, we need to say someone's name. So we'll be like, um, <laughs> <laughs> like Jeremy. Welcome back to another video of James. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, wait. If we say someone's Go name, on. it might pop up in the search. So, whose name should we say? Um, Will. Let's look up most common. No, for God's sake. <laughs> most common. Actually, isn't the most common English like, male Smith. name in England? Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah, John yeah. Smith. Welcome back, uh, Mohammed. <laughs> yo, Mohammed. Uh, <laughs> yo, Maslam. Yo, Maslam, Mohammed. Yep. Okay. Well, that's that's us getting drone striked. <laughs> oh no! No. <sighs> oh, it's fine. I've been playing Warzone. We're getting cancelled, boys. Twenty twenty is nearly the end. We're getting cancelled. Do, oh, do you reckon, what do you reckon will happen next year then? No that's a good. Prediction. That's a good thing. That's a good. That's a good segue to us. Bit. Um, I think. Um, uh, I don't know. Biden will die. Joe Biden will die. Really? <laughs> yep. And what if do it doesn't. Like? No, well, here's my prediction. I think if it doesn't happen before like the 31st of December 2021, then it will be by a gunshot. Administered hypothetically by me trying to prove a point. Um, but that's, uh, oh God, that'll be Wait, I don't know what point you'll be trying to prove. No, but to this, because I'd be like, because oh. I don't want to be proven wrong. Oh, I think that's like a political thing. No, no, no. With no, podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, like, when the FBI is interrogating me, they'll be like, why the hell did you do it? And I'll be like, because he didn't die before this. And this podcast I was on. Yeah, you'll just like... search up Dirty Frog 51, just turn the screen <laughs> out. Uh, it'll be presented as evidence between, b- 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 before the Supreme Court. So, damn, it's going to the Supreme Court. Let's go. <laughs>
I'll be like, yeah, so like, uh, yes, so your honors, um, as you can see in this video, uh, it's fair Jews. And they'll be like, well, he did say it. It would happen. This guy is pretty, you know, psychic. He did warn so, us, so and, I think we should just no, let him go. Yeah, exactly. So I'll be, <laughs> so he I'll gets be like, pass a freebie. <laughs> so I'll be like, in 2022, you're all going to die if you don't let me free. <laughs> and I'll be like, damn, well, let's go. Oh, I just know this is going to come back to haunt me when I'm like 24, trying to apply to the civil service. They'll be like, so Adam, when you were 17, you know that video you made where you said you were going to kill Joe Biden? We threatened to assassinate the you're, president of the United States. You were planning a terrorist attack. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Well, that technically made us accomplices for murder. Oh, he didn't stop it. Adam. So, yeah, exactly. He didn't stop me. Adam. So, oh, fuck. Now you brought the whole know, podcast please. down with you. Adam, no. Please. Oh, okay, we tried. Right, guys, <laughs> wait for the wait for the um the Bailey Legal podcast episode where we're in the Supreme Court doing it live, <laughs> baby. Live stream. <laughs> There's not nothing can stop us. We're dedicated. You, we're moving to YouTube live. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a sleep Twitch stream. streamers. Oh, no, we'll do you a don't sleep understand. stream in the Supreme Court. <laughs> Like the bell of hectors go off, like the guards pull their guns to us. I mean, just like reveal microphones. Um, of course, because we will have better equipment by that point, because we will have been rolling in the big bucks. Your honor, yeah, my client ideals. pleads. Yeah. My client pleads, hold on, we're just we're we're in the middle of a podcast. Oh, like my my client pleads, oh wait first, sorry, I gotta do these subscriber notices. <laughs> thanks, thanks, whoever for the 20 bits. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Um, um, aside from Joe Biden's assassination, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I really don't want to look back on this and again laugh at my naivety. But like, surely it's all got to be cleared up by the end of twenty twenty one. Surely. Um, well, maybe not. But like, I think COVID not entirely. Will be not entirely. better than it is now. Oh yeah, like, you know, the vaccines—they're being approved and stuff. They'll be rolling out. Oh, but they're, oh, they're going to track us. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, they are going to give me call. They are going to give me autism. You know, it's not preferable. <gasps> Adam's going to get it. So double, I'm autism. Autism. <laughs> double autism. Double autism. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't have coronavirus. Actually, I'd rather have the Rona than autism. To be fair. <laughs> Same, but I didn't make the choice in the end. So. Oh God. Uh, but at least you get a fidget spinner. Actually, yeah, you, you, you're, you're allowed to use a fidget spinner without people calling you a cringe, like a cringe. No, they'll still, the cringe. They're, they're still <laughs> call me cringe. They'll still call me cringe. No, even the fidget spinner, just because you got autism. <laughs> <laughs> cringe. <laughs> oh, wow. You're getting cancelled now. See Joe Biden's death. And oh, no. Alpha getting cancelled for insulting autistic oh. kids. Oh no, I'm mocking the disabled. This video is now oh. infinitely clickbaitable. Oh, we're going to get demonetized. Oh, Alfie mocks the disabled and Joe <laughs> Biden's death. Oh no, my fully Perfect. monetized channel. Have you made any money off a YouTube video? No. Don't you have to make like a, like a hit a certain view threshold or is it subscribers? Yeah, it's I think it's both. Ten, I think it's 10,000 subscribers and 40,000 views. Mm. No, that well, almost like there. Like that one percent of the way there. <laughs> Ooh, woo. <laughs> I mean, the, like, the Dirty Frog 51 channel really had a renaissance this year. We had yeah, the Easter like, special, the watermelon video, my personal favourite. Oh, the Romeo and Juliet one? And the Romeo and Juliet, oh my god. With Alex, what is, yeah. What's the most viewed video? Um, it might be the We Kill Our Wives Girlfriends. Oh, that's quite good then. I, it's the first yeah. video that pops up and then it's your, was it your... Odo? Ah, Honestly, I'm, just Odo. At, Odo, yeah. I'm just looking at your YouTube channel and mixed in with like um, Gamers Rise Up is what's the use of atomic bombs justified? I'm actually, <laughs> I'm proud of oh, that no. video. I'm so sad now that you um, got rid of Leo TV. I've got it privated. Oh. I've got it privated. And, you, and you eating a pancake with a spoon. I Fucking hell, that video. Oh my god, the life of Bishop Odo has 501 views. 500? 501, yeah. Oh my god. 
It's not even that good. <laughs> that's like more than most. Oh, so actually, I'm, I'm looking at this. We made it to 10 episodes, which is pretty decent. That's good, to be fair, yeah. Oh. That's more than some YouTubers who are actually do it as like a full, fully committed job. Who do, who do like, you know, those series where they make like two parts and then that's it. Yeah. Hmm. Even if it was kind of cringe, 10 parts, that's something to be proud of. That is like, um, remember the snack list? Oh my god, the snack oh, tier list. I knew you all had the wrong opinion about granola bar. They're, well, they're dusty. To be fair, I don't know that much anymore. Well, I'm gonna have a look at our list. Yeah, actually, that's <laughs> this is the oh. barely legal retrospective. Oh, the list, wait, is the list even in the video? Oh, okay, no, it is at the very end. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I think these are good. These cocktail sausages, mm. oh, cocktail sausages get up there, absolute banger. Anyway, right, we're just oh, referencing no, are things that are gonna, might, we're just referencing videos that are gonna be um, mm-hmm. privatized in the next week. So a week this, pushing actually, it. No, this is why you need to watch them now, because yeah. they'll be privatized. So privatized. Oh, yeah, it's like that um yeah, like Markiplier's thing. Unus anus or whatever, however you yeah. can fucking say it. Oh, what else happened this year? Oh no, we made it to eleven episodes. The time, time traveler, traveler who nuked Berlin. nuked Berlin. What the hell was that about? That was a time traveler episode that Samuel posted. Oh right, yeah. I don't even remember the one. Yeah, I was gonna say I do not remember like half of them. Um, but actually, wait, I'm trying to think now. Let's move on to a slightly more interesting topic. Just so I haven't thought of it yet. Um, what else did we have? <laughs> We can't just talk about the barely legal podcast. No one would <laughs> listen to this. Not like anybody's gonna listen to this anyway. But like, uh, I think we've covered everything. Like, I think we be, put in the chat. There's got to be more. There's got to be more we can talk about. We can't Christmas. just retrospectively like and Halloween. Halloween. Oh, I hate Halloween. So oh, you hate Halloween. Okay. It's yeah. so all right. Okay. I've been to America and I've experienced Halloween there. Mm. Ever since then, my opinion of Halloween in the UK is just, you know, dropped dramatically because oh, it thought, is so crap here. I thought something traumatic, traumatic was going to happen to you in America on Halloween no, night. That, that's why I hate um, like bonfire night. Um, it's because when I was like four, um, I looked, at, I was looking up at a firework that had been let off in our garden, and um, it fired off wrong. So all of the blew off um, your arm. like sparks. <laughs> Yes, uh, no, all of the, the sparks like rained down um, and set like a bit of our garden on fire. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was that, that is why I don't think fireworks should be allowed. One, they scare animals. Two, they're fucking explosives. That's like handing someone a grenade and just them lobbing it in the air. Yeah, like, they should be like well, organised ones and that's it. Well, yeah, that's fine. But like, I what stops me from buying a firework, lighting it and just shooting it to someone's window like a pensioner's going... Argh. Probably a bit illegal, but I mean, fair enough. But I have the access to it. That's true, that's true. It's just insane, not Yeah. No, I, I, I agree. Um, they should be... Oh, because dogs are valued more than people wanting to set up some stuff. Though, to be fair, people do not care, even if it is bonfire night. They'll just set fireworks off whenever. So, like, I'll hear a random firework on, say, like, the 9th of... January, and I'll be going, why the hell is it now that you've decided to go for this? I, I'm pretty sure I heard one earlier on today. Yeah. Well, the, no, the loud bang. Yeah, but that's reasonable because the Belly Eagle podcast is coming back. So <laughs> I understand why you want to celebrate that. Yeah. But I don't get the ones where there are people who set it during the day. That's a bit weird. Like, I, I've yeah, heard I it see them. the day. I'm like, what the fuck? So uh, people make Idiots. Just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Don't Christmas crackers have like, ex- like gunpowder in them? Oh yeah. But yeah, I think it's ju- it's enough just to make the little like. Yeah. Yeah, like party poppers. I, they're not really mm. lethal weapons. I I think you could make one if you packed it full of like nails or something. Have you, made, you never <laughs> seen the like? Have you ever seen the really big ones, which like full on? Oh, true. Actually. Shoot out. Like, oh, is that the one right in the eye? Yeah, have you seen? Have you ever seen? Now this is a while back. This video, but there was a sideman video where they did like a "Come Dine with Me" version. 
um, oh, yeah, where yeah, they yeah. use those giant ones that, on like their final night thing to fight each other. Oh, that would be so fun. That would be. Actually, do you want know something I've always wanted? I've never gone paintballing before. Um, I've had something I've always wanted oh. to do. I, re- I want to go paintballing. We should all barely go. Legal barely legal podcast. paintballing. Barely legal paintballing. Let's go. We live commentate a podcast whilst we play. Oh my god, that is a genius idea. Like, paintballing podcast challenge. No, because we'd use it to our advantage as well, because we're trying to like suss out where people are. Um, <laughs> based off the noise they're making, obviously. Oh, I love paintballing. It's great. <laughs> my theory is with paintballing, though, is I feel like I'll get a bit too into it. Mm-hmm. So like, what, I'll be like, I'll be like, okay, times. I'll be like, okay, I've got a good serve ammo. Can I just start hitting people around the head, like choking them out? Go all Rambo on them. The most disappointing thing I ever did in paintballing was surrender when it was just me on my team, and there was like five other people left. You surrendered. And I, well, I was terrified of getting shot by like five people, but I should have just, I should have fought to the end. Yes, that would have been amazing. Except you probably would have got shot straight away. But still, probably it would have died. Have yeah, you would have died in real life. You would have just yeah. got gone. You would have, but you would have went as a hero. Exactly. Exactly. Instead, That's you lived as a coward. <laughs> I'd be Here's a question. As a hero. Here's, let's let's do a hypothetical here, real quick, uh, just because I can't think of anything else exciting to talk about. So, when I'm doing this hypothetical, you all should think of other things to talk about. Anyway, so would you rather continue like living life as you are and you die at a normal age, or live forever, um, but for an hour every day you have to play hardcore Minecraft, where if you die in hardcore Minecraft, you die in real life. Would you? But you live forever. You stay like. Yeah. Let's. You decide where when you want it. Like what age you want to stay at. Like say like thirty or whatever, and uh, you live forever as that age until you die in Cyber Minecraft. What are we thinking? Okay, wait. I'm, I'm yeah, assuming. I... If, if, with Minecraft, Minecraft. Sorry. Yeah. Do I have to play, or could I just like dip myself in a cave and just sit in my mind? <laughs> yeah. That's what oh, I do. Um, well, <laughs> like, if, and and is uh, it the same world, or do I keep restarting the world every day? Uh, no, you're forced at gunpoint to uh, move. If you stay AFK for more than like two minutes, you get By shot in the back of the head. So is it the same? Yeah. Is it the same map? So I don't. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same world. Yeah, it's the same world. It's it's a hardcore Minecraft world. Honestly, that? I'd probably do it because there is a chat. Right, if you can establish yourself nice and early on, um, you can. You know, you could eventually in the end, you could just choose when you really want to die. Yeah, because th- Minecraft mm. Hardcore isn't that hard. It's only because you get surprised. Mm. Mm. If you take things slow, you'll probably be fine. If you get totems of the undi- of undying, oh, there you course, go. Then you just you're set. Yeah, then mm. when you're like, I don't really, yeah. want, like, I don't want to live anymore. Just die in Minecraft. We say we say all this, but it is easy to just mess up in Minecraft. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's you die more just by accidents. Yeah. Than actual yeah. combat. Mm-hmm. Like fills a Minecraft. I yeah, mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Die by a, a a baby zombie. Riding a chicken or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's a good way to go out though. Imagine putting that in your gravestone. Died by a zombie chicken rider in Minecraft. Um, you, and no one would believe it. But if you chose to die in Minecraft so you can die in real life. Would your report just say suicide by Minecraft? <laughs> uh. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Anyway, so has anybody thought of some amazing ideas to talk about, maybe? Retrospective 2020? Yeah. Other things um, happened? How about this? Um, this might go nowhere. How do you think you've changed as a person throughout the experiences of 2020? Good one. I like that. I'll Sam, I'll take us in. Oh. oh, sorry. No, go on, Samuel. Well, I didn't say anything. Oh no, but I was like, oh, you should leave this one. It's like, why not? Oh, 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 okay. Um, I think, I think I've, hmm, I'm not sure. I think, I think I've probably, um, uh, I think maybe I I understand myself a bit more now. I, I, I wouldn't have changed too much. I mean, I probably have changed a lot, but I just don't really realise. I don't know. 
yeah i agree with understanding yourself i've i think i've definitely come into myself a lot more throughout lockdown and everything like mm. it's a simple thing but like growing my hair long i love it so much more now and i just feel better about myself and with college you know i dress how i want and it's nice and i get to express myself and with all that time to think and learn new stuff i yeah I'm a lot more confident in general as a person now. Like I remember how it was before and I'm like, wow, that's actually pretty sad. Yeah, I'd say that for me, if you don't mind me going on now. Go, go ahead. Um, I, it, it's been a bit of a, a mix because in understanding myself more and becoming more realised with the situation of the world around mm. me, um i guess i really just sort of become more depressed with the reality of it all so i I guess in some way i feel better about myself as like an individual but looking at the world around me more i'm feeling increasingly depressed um but on the bright side i've actually been doing a bunch of productive stuff that will help me in the future um, and that's been really rewarding as well um yeah so like in terms of what this year has done to me it's made me mature um it's made me become more dedicated to the hobbies that I do do. Um, and then I, um, I guess more of a, like a, an aware person. Yeah. I, I, I would say I've, I'm quite similar in that aspect. Mm, like with yeah. the whole getting depressed about the world. Yeah, definitely. But I think that in a way has taught me to just, live the moment and you know just really appreciate things as they happen because the world is a horrible place so you're pretty lucky to be having all these great moments in your life every day yeah that's, gotta that's gotta make your own terrifying. purpose out of this terrifying daunting and ghastly world of 2020 Wow, Alfie. Well, as well, like I've been, I guess as well, again depressed about the world, but like a different aspect. So not about the state of the world in, but with mine is kind of future and career wise. Because mm. think, because I thought to myself, because at the beginning of the year I wanted to be a teacher or a, even a head teacher as the goal. You nonce. But, yes, just so I could be a massive nonce. That's why. Um, oh god don't say that <laughs> i just love kids I'm just, I'm sorry but um and just the thought of every day of my life waking up at seven o'clock to go to work come back at five o'clock that monotonous cycle of the same mm. thing and that's all my life will be until i'm 70 80 i have i've thought about that as well that's, yeah, that's, that's what, what job you do though i mean i'm talking about like you're standard like nine to five really that's why that's why I don't want to just have one job. I hate that idea. I want to I want to live. I want to do everything. Yeah, that's like, why I want to Sorry. I was going to say that that led me to the realization of what I want to be and what I want for my future. And that is like it's a very big aspiration but to be a film director to oh. allow that freedom to allow that creativity. That's what mm. at the moment like I enjoy college but I'm also hate it at the same time because I'm can't be creative i have no creative outlet like outlet to do anything that's what kind of getting me down at the moment but that aspiration of going to uni doing a four-year film production course where the final year i get to go over to america for that year Whoa. and do try as hard as i can to become a director i don't want to like i'm, I'm realistically i'm not going to be the lengths of spielberg or kubrick or anyone like that but even just to make one even really low budget film like a probably a horror film and i will be happy because that, that is truly wholesome to look to look wholesome. at something to look at something to be and be like i made that with my everything i've got mm. that's what well, i like want. i'll give an example recently of something that made me like really appreciate my life a lot more so basically um there's this um organization called ifelry which is like um the organization for all the youth political wings of liberal political parties 
Um, and I was helping um, somebody run their campaign to get onto the Viewer, uh, which is like the, I guess, like the management thing of this, this um, um, organization. And ultimately we didn't win in the end, which is a tragedy and all that. But um, not only did I like grow closer to that person as a friend, so like um, actually spending time with them and walking through and then actually imparting knowledge upon me. Um, but also at the end of it, they sent me a Christmas card and a notebook um, and just like like a small, it's like a really small gift, um, but like it just makes you appreciate the, the work that I did so much more because of all the work that I usually do do, there's no like feedback for it um, or there's no actual like, you know, idea that this is improving someone's life. Um, but knowing that I was able to help someone really did. Mm. That's very nice. That sounded sarcastic. Like, no, that was genuinely wholesome. I didn't, I just didn't want to say wholesome again. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it, this has been a year of like maturity. Mm. I think it's because of all the time we've been given. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, there's nothing else to do but reflect. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, like, with months on our own, left to our own thoughts, I think it has allowed us to, to mature a lot greater than a lot like other people of other years were able to do. Because yeah. they had loads of distractions where we had five, six months of just ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Chances I agree. are that's never going to ever happen again. At least not until like, you know, jobs and work don't exist and you can just do nothing all day. Yeah, I just want to get go out with my mates and get pissed. I don't want to be locked inside. <laughs> Honestly. That's a, that's a good point. What are we all gonna do after lockdown? Because like we're still in like we're still in a lockdown technically now kind of thing. But like once COVID is over and everything's like fine, we can go wherever we want. What are we gonna do? Just get pissed with my mates. That I don't wanna see my girlfriend. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. Did oh yeah! Oh <laughs> no, my god! I didn't. I'm actually so sorry. No! Yeah. Oh my god! I That's feel like that I feel betrayed. It's great. It's great for the podcast. Yeah, there you go. Oh damn! Right. Okay. Do you want to talk about that at all, or no? Or is that too crazy? Um, or oh god! I mean, there's not a, lot, a, there's not a whole lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Type their name in the um like the chat if you want to, or you can shout them out on here right or then. whatever. Um, I, just gotta... I, I think Adam will realise, oh yeah, come on, that's a bit obvious. I, yeah, I feel like I have a hint of like, maybe I know who it is. And then wait for the shocker that it's Matilda. Ooh. <laughs> 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 no. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, Actually, to be honest, speaking of things that I'd want to do, I'd want to see you all again. Uh, absolutely. We need a... I always loved yeah. it when we saw each other Next in Next time you're down to see your dad. That's yes, cool. I will be down to see you as well. I I want to see all my friends. All 100%. Of them. Like going to your house whenever I was there is no is a fantastic time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Damn, you're taking a long, how cinema. long is how long is her name? Because I asked you to type it in, and you still it's still not there. <laughs> oh no, oh. you put it in the Discord. Oh, oh the put Discord. in the Discord. Oh Sorry. right. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, yeah. I knew. I 100% knew it was going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, no. It's it's yeah, so yeah. obvious. It oh, is so wow. obvious. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot you had Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, I didn't see like any like thing that gave hint of it, but like I knew you liked her anyway. So. Ah, there you go. And there we are. That is so sweet. I love it. I I I did the, like a little push for both of them for them. Yeah, to get that, it was a whole was, thing. Uh, how long has that been now? I mean, I'm sure if, been, if anybody's listening this far around, they don't care anyway. But like, it's been just over a month. Oh, that is so sweet. Yes, no. <laughs> Get in. I'm so proud. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I'm. You. I'm proud. I'm proud. This is great. It's such an improvement from like your year eight relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Actually, to be fair, I say that. Have you actually like? I mean, it has been a lockdown. Have you actually held her hand yet? Yes, I have. <laughs> Let's go. They, they, they've done a little bit more, Adam. Oh, wait, that's not like sex. No, they didn't. They didn't raw a dog. He didn't porker. Okay. <laughs> no, you you are right though. Uh, that relationship, year eight. 
I don't think I even held her hand. Yeah. Maybe. It's good. Oh, it's good. no, I was, thinking, I was thinking of the other relationship in Europe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no, was with everyone. Um, no, was such a slut. Least... Yeah, I, I was. Ah, oh, well. Uh, no, that's sweet. I love it. I love it. No, wait, See, speaking, it... Of, speaking of girlfriends, didn't your girlfriend do a half marathon, Adam? She oh, yeah. did, yep. She did it in... Uh, two hours and 40 minutes I think was the time which is like I I, I heard that and I'm thinking that because she ran the entire thing and I'm thinking I can't even run for like 20 seconds <laughs> before getting out of breath and stopping um I so I do five kilometers I'm like okay I'm done but half oh, a marathon geez. that's that's, that's yeah. pretty amazing it is impressive yeah. Adam. what about you Alfie how's how's your love life that's the section we're on now <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, I wish I had an are interesting still, story you, to tell. Are you still on that really weird phase where you're like, oh, I just, a woman's not for me now. I've got to focus on myself. I don't know. I don't said that. Wait, did I? Yeah, I probably you did. did. Say that. Yeah. I probably did. Eh, it's not like I'm desperate. I'm not like, oh, I'm going to go searching for a lover. Ooh. It's like, yeah. If, if it happens, around, it happens. If it happens. Mainly just up for porking. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. Yeah. It, it, it's gone downhill ever since that German girl of yours. Um, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. The beard. It's gone down a year we, and a half ago. Please, please, can we tell that story on the podcast? <laughs> go for it. I don't need Alfie's consent. Go for it. <laughs> I feel like we should give, give, her a, give her a different name, though. Um, yeah, sure. What's a stereotypical because... German name? Adolf Hitler. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Adolf Hitler. Adolf. There we go. <laughs> so am I, am I telling the story? Yeah, go ahead. Basically, this German exchange student called Adolf Hitler um, <laughs> he came to our school for two weeks. Uh, I found out after about a week that this girl, you know, Hitler, fancied me because someone told me that she said she liked the guy in the leather jacket. I'm very pretentious that I wear a leather jacket at school. I oh, know, absolute hard man. Um, so I get talking to her and we ended up uh, just kept going out to like all oh, Pitmaston and Park stuff like that Whoa, and doing the you doxed street. us I mean <laughs> wait, wait let me let me just <laughs> we, we did the good old smoochy smooch a few times um, actually we was really into this girl and then she had to move back to Germany we kept talking oh. for a while, but over time, you know how it is. It's he's, just... he's, he's underhyping it. This is a this is like a Romeo and Juliet level tragedy. <laughs> they they, they yeah, saw they each died. other and it was love at first sight. I'm yeah. telling you. Yes, love at first yeah. Got married. Oh, no. kiss, <laughs> did you did you actually get married in secret? Yeah, she's Have you been seeing her the entire time? <laughs> You've been flying up to Germany on secret flights. Yeah, it, of course, yeah. It's forbidden course. love. And of course, her name now, Adolf Ward. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. you took her surname, obviously. Um, oh, Alfie Hitler. That's got <laughs> I mean, I mean would, wouldn't you? Well, oh, why not make War, Alfie Ward Hitler do a bit of a double? Oh. Alfie thing. Ward Hitler, Alfie Hitler Ward. I think Hitler Ward sounds better. Hitler Ward is sounds, good, yeah. It sounds like a hospital ward, but just for Hitlers, because of you know <laughs> racial attacks or something. If you hate names Hitler, you're going to get beaten up a few times. Oh, that was Did you know cute. that recently in Namibia, there was a local election in which a man named Adolf Hitler actually won? Yep. Yep. Oh, isn't saviour. That, isn't that just so amazing? We need councillors named Adolf Hitler. Well, I think just we should the... bring it back. Like, it needs to be back on trend. Okay, right. No. What do you mean the name or the person? The name. I think Adolf and Hitler. <laughs> I think maybe oh, Adolf. Cancelled again. How many times can we get cancelled in one video? Let's find out. And that's when Alfie said the N word. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't, because I can't be bothered to edit this. <laughs> it's not oh, like wow. anyone's going to listen this far in anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we, could, we, could say, we could say whatever, we, really. We had a couple of loyal listeners, which was really nice. Yeah. Who, if you, if you're listening to this up. at this point, um, why? I'll give him, I'll message, give him a shout message, out. DM Alfie. He's he's lonely. 
you know, it, it hit me up, ladies or blokes, please. I'm that lonely. Sam, okay. Sam, are you are you got a got a girl going? Oh no, no, uh, nothing like that's happened since primary school. Oh, that's kind of oh, sad now. Okay. That's it's a okay, sad Sam. note to leave uh, it on. No, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. You're just saving yourself for the right person. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I respect that. I respect that. Wow. I think... Should we end it here? How long have we um, going for? Like an hour and a bit? We have been going yeah. for quite a while. Jeez. Thank you, Zoom. Thank you, Zoom, for this free free extra time. We love you. Yeah. Is it just, is, is it just for this one time? Yeah, it's because it's, cause it's New Year's, obviously. Oh. And... Um, it's uh what's it called Christmas. people are locked away oh. so they want to you know, oh, yeah, yeah. ah them. fair enough um yeah enjoy this oh, this is an exclusive reunion actually wait where... i was gonna say maybe we do this for like we do this podcast for like 10 hours and then cut it up <laughs> so it's like we can actually fit oh, in properly. perfect do another 10 episodes <laughs> 11 no i'm saying 10 hours beyond the hour we've already done Oh, okay. Let's go Ooh. then. Right now. Next topic. <laughs> right. Bro, so we, we struggled at 40 minutes. How are we going to get to 10 hours? <laughs> oh, God. Reddit. I'm just going on Reddit. <laughs> oh, not, not yeah. another Reddit episode. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait. Do I still actually... Wait. Just before we do go, let me see if I do still have the um, Google document to see if like the ideas I've written down. Oh, well, is there oh, any... Have we have we pretty much done the t- full 2020 retrospective? Is there anything we we've have. missed? I mean, there's so many things we missed. Yeah, there's like well, obviously Black Lives like, Matter. Like, oh yeah, well, we don't need to get anything political going. Uh, it's yeah, not important. Yeah. We just skipped over it. No, yeah. but like that's yeah, that's serious stuff. We represent the common people. Oh god. <laughs> and the, the you know the everyday. Experience. The working class in the house. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see. I'm just searching for it now. When was the last episode of the podcast? June 23rd. Oh, jeez. <laughs> if I deleted that document, where is it? Oh, wait, didn't I put it in the Discord? I must have. There was loads of, like, films or TV series we were going to watch and then talk about. Oh, yeah, like, reviews and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. do you want to quickly on. just go one watch more. something and one then we'll... <laughs> one more topic. We do a live, we do a live stream, live. we talk about it. Yeah. Were there any, were there any, um, like, really great series or films which you watched over lockdown? I watched many. Uh, uh, not then. I... Oh, no, I did. I watched V for Vendetta for the first time. Nice. I watched loads of um, amazing films. I watched... Star Wars The Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, The Mandalorian, and Bojack Horseman. Ooh. That was a, a lot. What a Bojack one, Horseman man. was deep, and it made me reflect on my existence, but it was good. <laughs> I just watched a lot of uh, horror films. Any, like, any good ones? Oh, loads. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil Rejects, Hellraiser, The Fly. Uh, the Fly is good. I love the thing. The thing um, is amazing. TV series, I watched, I finished watching Breaking Bad. It took me two years to watch Breaking Bad. Oh my God. I watched film, but it, I, I continued on for series three and it was just brilliant. Yeah, um, it is. It, it gets quite boring at points though, to be fair. I can understand why, but I'd love it. Um, I've started watching Walking Dead again, which might be a mistake in a few series. Um <laughs> And yeah, that's oh yeah, and a lot of the Italian mobster films, so Godfather, Goodfellas. I finally found the Google document of watch of oh. what we were talking about. So we had dreams, which is something we did, didn't we? No, that's why we no. talked about dreams. Oh maybe we might have just done it as like a random side topic. Yeah. 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 I remember actually about a pint with um whoever it was. Tony Blair. Yeah. Tony, Tony Blair. Blair. Yeah, because I, I wanted to do it as a full episode, but I realised it would just boil down to like reading, dreams, and that's it. Um, we did like we'd watch two films and then compare which is better, but like presumably they'd be somewhat related rather than just watching two random films. <laughs> um, YouTubers we used to watch and where they are now. 
cause another to like it like this video if you want to see any of these I think so, topics I don't think, done i don't think that one would be that particularly good because i feel no, like no i don't I don't think it would. There'll be some joint ones that we've all watched, Sky does Minecraft and all that, but then there'll be ones which only one of us have yeah. watched. Same with yeah. watching, same with comparing films, unless they're literally like, M like everyone's seen them. Like, Especially, like name... sorry. The thing is, like, when it's two films as well, like you're asking the, the, the viewer to have seen two whole films, yeah. you know, and that's the condition like, for watching the video. Like, name a, a YouTuber you used to watch. Just everyone name one. So, no. Dan TDM. Oh, wait, like, oh. kind of go for, like, one of your more obscure ones. Oh, okay. You know? Oh, God. Oh. I, I, I was, I didn't have very obscure ones back in the day. Mm. Alfie. Wait, well, I'm going to have a look at who I'm subscribed to because I've had this account for years. Because I'd, I'd say, like, I know Alfie's watching oh, I know. him as well, but. Nerd Saturated Cute. Squid. Nerd Cued. Oh, my oh. God. Very he's still going he's still going he's still going i still go back to like the uh the video with him and emma blackery like the two or three oh, they're, they're... yeah they're perfect um sam do you have i i think no i don't you see we'd be right, useless at the, we'd be useless it... in that episode yeah um, i mean I have a... the old like star wars channels Oh yeah, but Noel would have heard of them. So like Lore Master, yeah, yeah, Pendus Wave and all that. Yeah, I've never heard of any of them. Uh, another one I had is come up with your own podcast and then present said podcast as like a Dragon Den type idea. Uh -huh. um, we can create an expanded universe of podcasts. Yeah, <laughs> I just wrote down Noah Centineo. Um, what? No idea. Who? You don't know Noah Centineo? Oh, okay, that would have been an awful one. Um, wait, 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 wait. Actually, do I... Oh, he's him. in like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids Bop was another one. Um... <laughs> Kids Bop? <laughs> what were we going to talk about? I don't know. Um, and then Fan Fiction was the final one. Whoa. Um, I was wanted reading. Because I wanted to read. Well, I, I mean, someone quite close to me has written some written some fan fiction and I'd want to have read it. Or at least the funny bits from it. I could have read Freeze. Yes. Oh that is a that is a throwback. Jesus oh, if, if, anyone Freeze, know, oh God. if anyone doesn't know that's a, a novella that we wrote in like year nine where Adam Lawless is the main villain and our, oh. one of our, our computer science teacher is the main hero. And we all we we're all included. Oh, it's the fact you made me the main villain, and I was like, I didn't care that much. <laughs> it was so funny. You killed you killed some people, Adam, in like cold blood. Wow, Joe Biden. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, well then, are we gonna wrap it up? I think Is there so. anything anyone wants to plug? Um, <clears throat> uh, the Bell Illegal so uh, official Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> did we make a twitter as well <laughs> <laughs> yes we did we did oh jesus christ <laughs> we did sadly we didn't make a facebook which i think was <laughs> really really sold it no i think i'm i said everything that i want to say wow so all right then thank you all hey, but wait for adam wait oh. adam but don't don't you have a channel or you're part of a channel? Oh, for fuck. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah. What's Wait, this? Okay. Yes. I wonder who told me about this. Oh, yeah, I knew Zach mentioned this. Um, yes, so if you all like um, politics and political analysis of the previous week, um, then go to um, Elections Daily on Twitter um, or on YouTube as well. And wow. every Friday at 10 p.m. Uh, UK time, uh, you can see me and my co-host, um, Peter, talk about international politics. Sounds exciting. It's, uh, it's, it's, I enjoy it. I have a lot of fun. Fair Zach, enough. my younger brother, a <laughs> little bit of, a, of a, a, a small brain about it, but there we are. All right. Thank you for tuning in, everyone.
Uh, Remember to like, a, subscribe. Yeah, it's been a wonderful <laughs> reunion, boys. Oh, well, what's the point of subscribing? Because, <laughs> just in case we do another one of these, I don't know. I mean, to help Noel out, go on, subscribe yeah. to help Noel. Yeah, you, to, to the, you never know. Good. Maybe we'll come up with an idea and we'll come back. Who knows? But yeah, um, even if we never do this again, uh, wonderful episode, wonderful mm. experience in general, setting up a very cringy podcast. It was something, it's something I'll look back upon and, and smile. Fondly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, thank you everyone. <laughs> Just sort of the three people who made it this part. <laughs> we say like Free. goodbye. Yeah, that's, that's pushing it. We like have some somb- like a sombre moment. Goodbye, my love. <laughs> Bye, my friend. I'm just gonna end this. is horrible. <laughs> you know you've been the Bye. one. You've been the one Bye. for me. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, my. F- I don't know the rest of the words to be fair. <laughs> right, end it here. Just end it. <laughs>